one year have survived without the Ministry of Tourism. It's the same answer as Ahmed al Abdi cannot survive without them. So um, we are united in what we try and achieve. Um, from what we've done in 2014, uh, with the multi-millions of people watching the program and knowing about Oman, I believe that uh, we were unrivaled in, in terms of economic figures compared to marketing benefits. Um, but I believe, you know, by them not being here today isn't the end of it. I think we can still work hard and see why uh, certain individuals uh, believe that um, the program isn't worth it. Um, but I think the, the door is still open. Um, so, you know, for me as a, as a sportsman, uh, my country is on my head. And you see the Oman on my helmet. That's what's important to me. The criteria which is required to have a, a racing license for the team. But it was also an opportunity given to me by Motor Base in the United Kingdom to go on the Oman racing team. This was a historical moment for British GT and Blancpain, where I think the media there covered it extremely well in terms of an Arab team. So, you know, yes, Oman Automobile Association's grounds are in Oman, but the support you see from them to me is always from the behind the scenes. And support such as this is a proud moment for myself and for the club. Um, and I think um, having individuals such as him who understand what we're doing and understand our programs, coming from wealth of experience in motorsports automatically, gives us a chance uh, to go out there and do what others haven't done in the Middle East. And uh, when we do compete in the Middle East, people are so proud of what we've achieved as a Roman, uh, to be honest. So that's a very, very proud moment. And you know, we thank them for their support and their continuous support. Um, so I think uh, I'd also like to wish him a happy birthday because today is his birthday and he's skipped it uh, from my press conference. So thank you. <laughs> we have a strong driver lineup. And we've got Dan Lloyd joining us from Britain, and we've got Johnny Adam also coming to the team with the Aston Martin uh, Racing Works driver. Um, you know we believe in, in putting our Oman flag as high as we can, and uh, inshallah we'll be able to do that for 2015. And we want to thank all the partners who stood by me and still standing. And uh, thank them and the great fans we have in Oman who keep us pushing all the time.